Welcome back. Hackers are targeting people looking for jobs on LinkedIn. Now, the site connects potential employees with thousands of companies. Currently has 150 million users. That's twice as many as just a year ago. Here to get us updated on how this is going on and how to keep ourselves safe, Jamie Turner, co-author of Go Mobile, also founder of the 60secondmarketer.com. So let's give everybody the basics. Yeah. How are the hackers getting into LinkedIn and then what are they doing? Well, basically what's going on is that they will send you emails that look like they're coming from LinkedIn. And what happens is, is people then go ahead and respond to the emails, they'll either click through on a link or start providing information from via email. And what ends up happening is they're giving information that they shouldn't be giving out to somebody that they don't definitely know. What's interesting is it's actually pretty easy to make sure you don't get fished like this for information. If you just go to the LinkedIn website, anytime you see somebody saying this is a message, go to the LinkedIn website and they'll have their messages there for you. If you don't see the email message matches the message on the LinkedIn website, then it's a phishing attempt okay. or it can be a phishing Because you can see how it can be tempting. I mean, people, uh, you know, people looking for work, yeah. they're desperate. They get some kind of an email saying, hey, uh, Mike, send me some of your information. I'm going to recommend you for a job. I'm first the inclination is, hey, yeah, here's my info. Go exactly. for it. Exactly. And it's really interesting because you kind of just have to have your antenna up. You just have to be on the lookout. Anytime somebody starts asking for personal information or account numbers, social security numbers, even addresses, that should raise a red flag and you should start going, all right, wait a second here. Is this somebody fishing for information or is it actually somebody that has connected with me legitimately through LinkedIn. Let's hit on the use, use the term phishing. In this case, uh, we're seeing the term spear phishing. Yeah. Well, give us the definition of that so we're all educated on that. Sure. So, so a normal phishing attempt is just somebody getting an email, me sending you an email from, let's say I'm in Africa and I say I got $20 million I want to deposit into your bank account. Most of us know, okay, that's highly suspicious. Now what's going on with spear phishing is it's a little more targeted. So it's somebody going into a specific company and almost acting as though they are within that same company and kind of being more targeted about how they approach you. Yeah. So they may say, hey, you and I are part of the same large organization. Can you send me your password information? Mm -hmm. And that should raise a risk. So more right dangerous, here. more believable. What should folks do? LinkedIn can be a great tool. How do, how do, how do people stay safe? All the tools can be great. Facebook, LinkedIn, all those social media tools can are really good. The trick is to go to the actual website and check your messages from there. If you do that and you've logged into that website with your password and you know you're actually in the actual website, check messages there, you're in really good shape. So that's the number one thing users can do. And what kind of info should you be giving out on LinkedIn? Really, you should be giving out just high profile, top line information. Never give away passwords, never give out social security numbers, nothing like that. That should always be done in a way that you actually know this is somebody who I'm in touch with and they're talking to you face to face or or it's a trusted source. Got it. Okay. Great advice there. Pretty scary stuff. Jamie, thanks so much. Appreciate Great. It. Glad to be here. Mm -hmm. Thanks.